I swear, filming in public never gets easier. Okay, security guard is looking at me weird, okay. This is actually the most private place I found to film. All right, let's just get this intro over with. Hi guys, my name is Rebecca, AKA Vegan Bodega Cat, and I really hope you can hear me over the construction and the cars and the people. This is the most private corner I could find for this moment. So today I'm out to try another sandwich that has also been out for a little bit, but I just haven't tried it yet. We're going to Gregory's to try the vegan scramble sandwich. So the sandwich is a rosemary focaccia, love me some focaccia, just egg, vegan scramble, vegan American cheese, and sriracha. It's 300 calories, which isn't bad, and I think it's like $6 or something like that, which depending on the size isn't bad either, but I have a feeling it's gonna be small from this picture. See the picture? Yeah. Anyway, so I first heard about Gregory's when I shot my living in New York City for a dollar a day video. They had this app that gave you $5 off, so I got a pound cake there. They have a surprisingly large amount of vegan desserts there, at least three or four on any given day, which is pretty awesome, and the pound cake they have is delicious. One thing I love about Gregory's is their lattes. I know that's so basic of me, but Gregory's actually has my favorite soy milk latte in the city. I'm upset there aren't enough Gregory's around. If you're ever near a Gregory's, favorite soy latte, Gregory's, you should try it. Also, it is not raining today, which is, has been a rarity in New York City. I'm gonna take full advantage and film this video with much excitement. Also, I'm gonna go look for a raincoat today too. Last, last video, I wasn't really successful in finding a raincoat, but maybe today I can have a look around some like sales section. Uh, we'll see what happens, I'll keep you updated. But without further ado, let's go check out Gregory's new-ish vegan scramble sandwich. All right, here we go. And wow, there's a camera there too, so they're seeing me while I'm seeing them. You guys usually have a pound cake here that's vegan. You don't have it today? Aw. Yeah. Okay. Can I have the vegan scramble sandwich and the chocolate buckwheat ball? The vegan scramble egg is out? Dang it. Do any of the other locations have it right now? All right, I'll go check. Thank you. All right, so there's no vegan scramble sandwich at this location. What I'm going to do is go to this Urban Outfitters right here and see if they have anything in the sale section. After that, we're gonna go to another Gregory's location. Technically a rain jacket, not really my style. So the next Gregory's is like, whoo, so many people out today. So the next Gregory's is like, like a 25 minute walk away. I could also take the subway, but I'm kind of in the mood to walk. I didn't have much luck finding a raincoat in the last store I was in, so I think if I walk and I just, you know, go in random stores that look promising, I might be able to find something on the way. So I'll keep you updated. If not, I'll just see you at the next Gregory's. The walk took around like half an hour or so. I went to like three stores. No luck on the rain jacket, but that's okay. We're at the second Gregory's. It is right um, there it's right there i actually called ahead just to see if they had the egg sandwich and they said they did so they should unless they sold out in the last like 30 minutes which i hope not also i'm kind of glad we're going to this one because the last one was out of lemon poppy pound cake which is my favorite thing to get at gregory's so hopefully this location will have that too and we can get both and maybe even a coffee i'm feeling kind of you know splurgy right now thank you second time's a charm i guess Oh no, I don't see the pound cake. What if it's done here too? Then I guess I can get something else to try, but... Poopies. Hey, can I have uh, the vegan scramble sandwich? And are you guys out of the lemon poppy pound cake? Yeah. Okay, can I get the chocolate bliss ball and a small iced soy latte? How many shots go in that? Yeah. Alright, yeah, two is good. Thanks. I interrupt this video to talk to you about how much everything costs since I totally forgot to do this while I was filming. The latte was $4, an extra 95 cents for the soy. The scramble sandwich was $5.95 and the chocolate buckwheat bite was $3.50. After I tipped and tax, I paid $17.81. <laughs> All right, let's cut this baby up and see how he looks like. Ugh. Oh, it looks like an egg sandwich. All right, hi. I'm hoping that the lighting and the audio is okay. I'm in a public park, so it is going to be a little bit loud. I'll speak up a little bit without being um, 
super annoying to everybody around me. Here's the egg, it looks delicious actually, and I'm really excited, I haven't had lunch yet. This is my lunch. Ooh, that looks so realistic. I mean, I've had the Just Egg before a few times. I've shot two videos on the Just Egg and I'll include them both in the description box down below. But I'm excited to have it at Gregory's. Well, in a park, from Gregory's. I should probably put away my knife before I get in trouble. That was delicious. This might be like the best Just Egg I've had. I think it's partially to do with how flavorful the rosemary focaccia is. Like, it tastes so good. I don't think a regular person would be able to tell that this isn't a real egg, honestly. Yo, this is so good. Let's try it with some sriracha. I didn't think that would make it better, but it does a little bit. Yo, I would totally eat this. I'm trying to not give it a 10 out of 10 because that feels so, like, too nice of me. Like, I'm trying to think of other things that could be in here, like, maybe they should put tomato or whatever, but I really like it. I'm just gonna give it 9.5 out of 10. This way I keep a little bit of my reputation, you know, of being a hard ass. I don't know what kind of cheese they use. Ah! Yo, everything, just the wind keeps blowing everything away. It tastes like the Diet American Circles, which tastes different than like the shreds and stuff, trust me. While I was at Gregory's, I figured why not just try something else that I haven't tried before. So I also got a chocolate buckwheat bite. It's vegan and gluten free. I wanted to get the lemon poppy pound cake, honestly, but they were also sold out in the second location, so forced me to try something new. The ingredients for this is oats, buckwheat, chocolate chunks, agave, coconut, chocolate powder, and espresso. Oh, there's coffee in here. Well, I also got an iced soy latte, so um, we're gonna be well caffeinated after this. Okay, this looked really healthy, but it's delicious. They weren't joking about the chocolate chunks, dude. They are not skimping. Look at the size of these. This is a great meal, guys. I also have nothing like bad to say about this. I wasn't planning on getting a coffee out today, which is why I didn't have my reusable cup with me. However, I recently learned about the most adorable reusable cup brand called Keep Cup. So I'm gonna see if I can get one of those because the small size of those is small enough to fit in my everyday backpack versus the only Starbucks reusable cup, which is what I have size, is like huge and doesn't fit in my backpack, which makes like bringing it around somewhat of a problem. Wait a second. I should have just brought a small jar. All right, let me talk about that for a second. Sometimes like these sustainable brands like come out with the most adorable reusable bags, cups, razors, straws, whatever. But there's also stuff at home you could totally use for cheaper and would be like technically better for the environment because you're not like buying something new. That cup is a good example of that. I could just bring a glass jar to get iced coffee versus buying like a $25 cup for that. But I obviously want to buy the cup because it's adorable. But if I'm truly thinking about the environment, I'll use my glass jar. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, thoughts? This is a delightful combination. Their coffees are also great. This is my first time getting an iced coffee from them and it's just as good as the hot one, so. The ball gets a 10 out of 10 and so does the coffee. Not that I'm a coffee snob or something. This could be a totally shitty coffee. I just really like it, so that's all that matters. All right, so I'm gonna enjoy my coffee and the rest of my like crunchy chocolate buckwheat bite. And then afterwards, I'll catch you for the outro. Yo, as a meal, I'll give that a solid 10 out of 10. Like it's not that hard to please me. I was thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying that. Anyway, uh, I'm just gonna say bye here. Like, if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right there. And yeah, if you have a Gregory's near you, then I definitely recommend you trying the sandwich, and that is all for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! As always, thank you to my amazing bodega babes, Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Osiris, Maya, Michelle, Kayleen, Kaylin? Let me know how to pronounce that. Marielle and Alex of Planet Earth. I wonder if I'll soon get an Alex from another planet. Who knows?